Addy. Back with another controversial topic. Getting in a half Oh yeah. Hi love. Welcome to Types of UG Lectures. Be sure to know there will be a party. So grab your UG friends, past, present, future. And let's get ready to relate. Just before I start, any similarity to any specific lecture is purely coincidental. Let's go. Number one, foreigners. So you usually have a tendency to hire lecturers from out of the country. Why? They know a lot less about what happens here. So Yuji doesn't care if their accent is so thick that I could cut it with a lot of that I never got to use or experience even though I paid my $50,000 miscellaneous fee. Lab, my bam bam. Like I could see that it hurts them when people don't understand what they're saying because they do look like they have a heart for teaching. I'm not saying they're bad teachers, I'm just saying English classes are something that Yuji should think about investing in. Two, old hens. I know I'm not the only one. Sometimes you see a lecture and then you ask yourself, you still alive? Like, UG has this way of just keeping people on board for years and not changing them. I'm not talking about any teacher in specific here. No teacher in specific here. And these are the lecturers who have not adapted to technology. God forbid you use a website reference. They are so fixed in their teaching methods that they won't even change it, even though their class failure rate is high. They do have a lot of knowledge just to adapt it to the millennials, you know, could work. Adapting it into millennial style could really do wonders for your students. Number three, I can eat. Oh, help me, Jesus. Annie, you need some prayer skill. I would appreciate that very much. Am I the only one who notices this hot lectures? I feel like you're in class and your eyes are literally burning what you're supposed to be intaking knowledge this so doesn't apply to me don't look at this as i'm lusting this is appreciating what the lord has done shut up number four the ones that just don't care exactly what are you being paid to do I want you to stay back after the class is finished just to receive knowledge that you should have gotten if they had come on time. Not only that, give you a chunk of information forgetting that it's their job to decipher all of this. Google, Google, exactly what's your job. And number five, the great ones. The ones that take extra time. The ones that make time for their students. The ones that do more than they should. The ones that accept your assignments even though they're two weeks overdue. <coughs> Miss Anderson. <coughs> She's good people. Alright, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know it's been a beat and I know you miss me and I know I miss you too. But hey, sound every week. Huh? Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and all these accounts that I don't use. And this is Annie. Bye. By the way, to those people who be stopping me on the street, tell me, oh my gosh, I so love your videos. And yet I am seeing six shares? Two shares? Check yourself. Bye.